Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It always <laughs> Thank you. It always helps, and I appreciate it very much. So we've got an awesome morning together this morning. Uh, and thank you for coming so much. We, uh, we have over 5,200 attendees here today. We sold out within two hours. I'm sorry, this is the biggest place we can get uh, to have this, so I'm sorry for all those people that couldn't make it. Um, and we wish we could uh, sell more tickets, but we don't know where to have it if we do. So 5,200 attendees, over 120 sessions, over 100 hands-on labs where you can take your code in and get uh, help tuning it and porting it to some of our newer devices. And there are over 100 Apple engineers here this week, a 1,000, sorry, Apple engineers here this week to help you. So there's a lot of Apple folks floating around. Grab them, make use of them, and we hope you have a great week here at WWDC. Now, we're going to talk about three things today. You know, if the, if the hardware is the, the brain and the sinew of our products, the software in them is their soul. And today, we are going to talk about software. We've got some great stuff to talk about. OS X Lion, iOS 5, and some kind of interesting new cloud stuff. So. Let's start with Lion. Tell us all about Lion. I'm going to ask two of my colleagues, Phil Schiller and Craig Federighi, to take us through Lion and give us some demos. Phil? Thank you, Steve. Yep. Well, good morning, everyone. How you doing? Yeah, come on, energy in the room. This is the developer conference. That's more like it. I am really honored to be the first to present to you the first of our new products today. And this product is all about the Mac. And the Mac is doing incredibly well. Our customer base continues to grow at a tremendous pace. We now have over 54 million active Mac users around the world and growing. The customers love the products, and press and analysts have really incredible things to say about it. Things like this from All Things D. There's really no other way to say this. The Mac is kicking ass. Yeah. Now, that's really nice, but what did John mean? Well, this is what he means. In the last quarter, the PC market actually shrank year over year 1%, while the Mac grew 28%. In my book, that's an ass kicking. <laughs> now, lest you think this is an aberration, the Mac has outgrown the industry every quarter for the past five years. It is going so strong, and it's because the products are incredible. Products like the new MacBook Air. It's beautiful, it's thin, it's light, it's fast. The whole PC industry wants to copy it. But as you know, we've been leading in notebooks for a while. We were the first to really drive the majority of our PC business to a notebook business. And it's almost three quarters of the Macs we ship today. But whether you want a great new notebook or a killer desktop with a new iMac, these Macs are the best that we have ever made in the history of Apple. And they're great not just because of the hardware they run, but because of the software. Mac OS X is the heart of the Mac. And if you're keeping track, you know we launched Mac OS X 10 years ago. We built it on a solid Unix foundation. We added to it the ease of use and simplicity that we know Apple's renowned for. And we built into it amazing technologies for all of our great developers to make the world's best applications to run on it. And for those of you who are around and remember this, this is what 
Mac OS X looked like 10 years ago when we launched it. Yes. It was a revolution in its day. And over the last 10 years, it's evolved to become more refined, more powerful, more beautiful than ever before. So Mac OS X is looking incredibly strong. So where do we take it next? Well, next up in OS X is Lion, a major release with over 250 new features. And if you'd like, we can go through every one of them today. <laughs> yes. Well, I'd love to. I'm told I don't have enough time to tell you about 10 key new features. So we'll really get into 10 awesome features. First up, right into it, number one, multi-touch gestures. One of the great things about the Mac from the beginning was that it ushered an era of a graphic user interface with a mouse and clicking and dragging. But so much has changed over the last 10 years. We now build multi-touch trackpads into all of our notebooks, and we offer them on our desktops. And we've learned a lot from iOS as well. So now, Lion can count on multi-touch. From the beginning, you can have beautiful, fluid, momentum-based scrolling. You can have incredible multi-touch taps to zoom in on stories or pictures. You can dynamically zoom with beautiful, fluid pinch motions. You can swipe through your photographs, your slides, your web pages, all with an incredible physical realism that's never been possible with a PC operating system before. And this has implications across the system in a lot of little important areas. Here's a simple example, the scroll bar. Why do we have scroll bars? Scroll bars were there so you could click with the mouse and drag and scroll. But now if you're pushing your window with multi-touch, you don't need them. They can disappear and have a much more beautiful reading environment. But when you go to scroll, they magically appear, give you a sense of place and proportional size, and then disappear when you don't need them. So multi-touch is now built throughout the system in a very powerful way. Number two, full screen applications. We've had some full screen applications before, and these are really important for notebooks, 11 inch and 13 inch, where you want to get, take advantage of every pixel on the display. But developers have had to work hard to make their applications hand coded to do full screen applications, including apps like, like iPhoto. Well, now with Lion, we've built in a standard method for developers to create full screen applications. And it has a simple system control in the top right, the, so all users know where to tap and then bring their applications full screen. But this isn't full screen like it was before, because now you can keep your application running full screen with a simple swipe gesture, get back to your desktop, get something you need, go back to your application, never having left full screen. In fact, you can have more than one full screen application running at the same time. So we've worked on a number of our applications to bring them into the new full screen mode of Lion. System applications like Safari, Mail, iCal, iLife applications, iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand, iWork with Keynote and Numbers and Pages, and all these applications going full screen so you have a great experience right out of the box. Here's an example of how it looks. This is now running full screen in, in Safari. You can have a beautiful place for viewing your documents. And now there's a new feature since we've got all this extra room on the left-hand side called the reading list. Keep track of things you want to get to later. Here's iCal running full screen. Here's preview showing you PDF documents running full screen. So you can just have a beautiful experience like we've never had on a computer before with full screen applications. Next feature. For many users, this will be the best feature of Lion. It's called mission control. Now, we all like to run a lot of software. At Apple, we've created many features to help customers find just what they need. Expose for finding a document. Dashboard for getting at a quick widget, spaces for organizing your work environments, but didn't all work together in one unified way. Well, now with Lion, we've unified that with a simple gesture to get into mission control. And this is a bird's eye view of everything going on in your system. On the main window, well, that's the current desktop you're working on with all the documents now organized by what application is running on them. And you can tap on any document and bring it to the front. That's right there, center for you to work on. Up above, are all your spaces. So you can have multiple desktops, you can have multiple full screen apps running, get to any one with a single tap. And on the left of those spaces is a new special one just for your dashboard widgets. You can get to, again, with a single tap. So that's mission control. And what I'd like to do now is, before we move on, have Craig Federici come up and give you a demo of these three new features all working together. Craig? Hello. Good morning. So, 
let's take a look at Lion in action. And we're going to start with gestures. Great play to, place to experience gestures is here in Safari. The first thing you'll notice, it's apparently something funny, is that how simple this UI looks because there are no scroll bars. It's a really clean look. We don't need scroll bars anymore because we can simply push the content with our fingers. We can flick and get momentum, get a nice little bounce. The page feels really alive beneath your fingers. You can also ex uh, expand your fingers and fluidly zoom, just like that. Zoom out and you get a nice little bounce. The page goes right back into place. If I want to smart zoom, I just double tap with two fingers. It smart zooms in, double tap again, smart zooms out. Now I want to show you something really cool with gestures, and that's how it can navigate in Safari. I'm going to drill into a story, and then after I've read it, I want to actually get back to the previous page. Well, now I can just take two fingers and swipe the page right off to the side and return back to my previous page. If I want to get back, I can swipe right back. It's really fantastic. In fact, I can swipe through my entire Safari browsing history just like that. Really smooth. Next up, I'd like to show you full screen apps. I'm going to launch iPhoto here. And you can see that iPhoto has adopted Lion's standard new full screen control. So I'll just take, Lion, or take uh, iPhoto full screen. It's a great way to look at my photo album. But if I want to get back to my desktop, take three fingers and I can just swipe the desktop, swipe iPhoto away and back to my desktop. But I didn't have to leave iPhoto and take it out of full screen. It's actually right there. Take a peek at it, go back, just like that. We love this so much that we made gestures accessible in exactly the same way. Swipe over to the left, and I have access to my dashboard. You can see Safari supports full screen as well. Let's go take our Safari window full screen. So now we have our dashboard over our desktop over here to the left. We have Safari. And of course, iPhoto is still there in full screen as well. You'll notice how Safari is making great use of all the available space on the screen for my content. But if I want to get at my bookmarks bar, or my menu, just go to the top. You see they slide right out like that really nicely. And when I want to exit full screen, I have a control right there in the upper right. Animates right back out. Let's take a look now at Photo Booth. This is an app absolutely born to run in full screen. You can see I'm surrounded by the curtains of the, the photo booth. And in here, I can experience some fantastic new face <laughs> detection effects. So notice as I move, the birds actually track. That's right, it's the most important feature in Lion. And we can also use this face tracking technology to perform some targeted facial enhancements. For instance, I can finally have those big eyes that I've always hoped for. So I'm going to take a picture of that. So that's, that's pretty cool. So playing around, yeah, that's great stuff. So you, know, you can spend hours at this. So full screen is fantastic. But of course, Mac users love to get, do a lot of things at once. And that often means that they have a lot of windows. In fact, my desktop often looks a little bit more like this. right? I've got a lot going on. So how do I get? across all of those different activities, well, I just take three fingers, swipe up on the trackpad, and I'm in mission control. From here, I can get at any window I want. So if I want to get at iCal here, I click, it comes forward, sweep back into mission control. Over to dictionary, same thing. And across the top, you see I have my dashboard, my desktop, my full screen apps. So I want to get to iPhoto, just click, 